This episode is sponsored by BetterHelp. We're faced with challenges in life all the time, especially these days. It feels like it's basically constant. And because of that, it can be overwhelming to learn how to find solutions. A good therapist can teach you to be a better problem solver and make it easier to accomplish your goals, big or small. Therapy can be a great way to work through the problems you've been dealing with in your personal and professional life. It can be great to have someone to talk to, to help heal emotionally, figure out things like anxiety or depression, or even just unload stress from the week. It might be scary or intimidating at first, but talking with your therapist can serve as a respite from the outside world, a battery recharge before you're back out there. If any of that sounds appealing to you, BetterHelp is a great option. It's convenient, affordable, and best of all, totally online. All you have to do is fill out a quick survey to get matched with a therapist, and you can switch therapists at any time. When you want to be a better problem solver, therapy can get you there. Visit BetterHelp.com slash death battle today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp.com slash death battle. SpongeBob SquarePants, Nickelodeon's number one nautical nincompoop. Aquaman, the thalassic third wheel of the Super Friends. Thalassic means ocean. I looked it up. The infinite ink black depths of the seven seas are home to any number of terrifying, awe inspiring creatures. They're also home to these two losers. Though when it comes to cartoon characters, there's always more hidden beneath the waves. That's right, we're prioritizing the cartoons for maximum tune force shenanigans! He's Wiz and I'm Boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. I call him Doodle Wiz. Wiz, he's just like you, but I made him with a pencil. I'm calling the police. <laughs> SpongeBob's yellow hands, like his reef blower, which hoovered up the entirety of Earth's oceans in seconds and then exploded on top of SpongeBob all at once. It's estimated the entire mass of Earth's oceans is about 1.5 quintillion tons. Considering all the water refilled the planet in about one second, that'd be a kinetic energy of over 6,000 Yoda tons. That's enough energy to nuke Jupiter 13 times over. And SpongeBob was completely unharmed. His hydrodynamic spatula isn't just an impromptu bladed weapon. It's also his primary instrument to create the greatest foodstuff Bikini Bottom has ever seen, the Krabby Patty. A burger so delicious, it's basically magic. Not only is it totally addictive, SpongeBob was romantically attracted to one. It can nullify mind control, heal wounds, and even detonate. SpongeBob has survived nukes point blank, hugged his best friend Patrick so hard their DNA fused, can ride on the scene transitions, and once cried so hard he flooded Bikini Bottom, even though it's already underwater. Shit, he once grabbed a hold of this mysterious string and unraveled the entire universe. He literally undid the fabric of reality in seconds. What the f***? What was that you were saying about anti-toon force? I'm, I'm sorry. I'm not sure I've ever misjudged a character as severely as... SpongeBob SquarePants. Nice character arc there, Wiz. Unfortunately for Roberto, the rest of the town only saw the goofy goober on the outside. It took more than one adventure to prove himself to be a real hero. You think he ever banged that squirrel? He's crushed Plankton's Plan Z, won the Battle of Bikini Bottom against an army of killer robots, and even teamed up with fellow Nickelodeon stars Timmy Turner, Jimmy Neutron, and Danny Phantom to save the Nicktoons multiverse. His biggest weakness is that he's a giant, suicidally naive idiot. And depending on the humidity of the atmosphere around him, being out of the water can dehydrate and permanently incapacitate him. Oh, also seasonal rot. Those first three seasons are pure your gold, but after that, oh boy, there's this one episode called Squid Baby where Squidward gets brain damaged into a giant baby and shits himself on screen. What are you talking about? Oh, right. <clears throat> Trials and tribulations and Hasselhoffs aside, it wasn't until SpongeBob accepted himself for who he was that he was rewarded with the greatest boon of all. Middle management! So if nautical nonsense be something you wish, then pray to your yellow porous god for mercy, because his whimsical laughter is the last thing you'll ever state to some degree, but besides that, there have been times when sea creatures have just ignored his commands outright. Wiz, I'm gonna be straight with you. You haven't said anything remotely mind-blowing yet. Does this Aquaman actually suck? Hold your seahorses, Aquaman's exploits were so world-renowned he banded together with Earth's mightiest heroes to form a team capable of defending the planet, nay, 
the universe from any threat. The Super Friends! The Super Friends! They're like the dime store knockoff version of the Justice League. What? No, no, you've got heavy hitters like Superman, Wonder Woman, and Batman. Mm-hmm, keep going. Flash, Green Lantern. Uh-huh. Apache Chief, Samurai, Black Vulcan, the, the Wonder Twins, and their pet monkey Gleek. Wiz, stop. You're embarrassing yourself. No, wait, his best direct strength feat was when he, uh, moved some trash. About 50 metric tons of it. Fuck. Uh, the jokes write themselves, huh? Fun fact, Aquaman once enrolled in an American college under the name Mr. Waterman. So we're working with a pretty hefty IQ here, huh? Okay, so he's lame, and arguably completely lame. I was convinced I'd find some crazy, insane Popeye punching out the animator feet somewhere, but no! He sucks! He actually, actually sucks! His best feat is literally garbage! I'll uh, take over from here, Wiz. Aquaman is a bit of a joke, sure, but he's not completely useless. He's dodged laser beams, defeated a living Titanic by luring it into an iceberg, seriously, and beaten this water elemental Undyne, who looks like a gorilla for some reason, uh, by summoning seagulls to pelt her with clamshells. He once even outswam this Kryptonian pterodactyl monster, Rokan, who flew from the edge of the galaxy to Earth in about 15 seconds. Wait, wait, really? Uh, okay, okay, now we're talking. That'd be over 55 billion times the speed of light, and Aquaman's swimming clearly outmatched that. It doesn't matter if it looks lame. You get one, buddy. And, hey, he could probably kick your ass, person that's watching at home, so... That's something. Well, not if he's on dry land. Uh, if he's out of the water for even one hour, he dies. Never mind, person watching at home, just uh, hide for a bit, grab some lunch, and then uh, stomp on his corpse. But is raw power really what makes someone a hero? Or is it the drive to help others, to be of service, to sacrifice? That's what a hero is to me. And I'd say Aquaman's got as much of that as there are drops of water in the ocean. He's about to die. Yeah. Yeah. This episode of Death Battle is sponsored by Mint Mobile. After years of fine print contracts and getting ripped off by big wireless providers, if we've learned anything, it's that there's always a catch. So when we first heard that Mint Mobile offers premium wireless starting at just 15 bucks a month, we thought, what's the catch? But after talking to them and using their service, it all made sense. There isn't one. Mint Mobile's secret sauce is that they're the first company to sell wireless service online only. They cut out the cost of retail stores and pass those sweet savings directly to you. Mint Mobile's wireless quality is a especially impressive, and as a world-class mad scientist, I'm pretty picky. Mint Mobile gives you the best rate whether you're buying for one or a family, and at Mint, families start at two lines, and all plans come with unlimited talk and text plus high-speed data delivered on the nation's largest 5G network. And you get to keep your current phone number along with all your existing contacts. To get your new wireless plan for just 15 bucks a month and get the plan shipped to your door for free, go to mintmobile.com slash deathbattle. That's mintmobile.com slash deathbattle. Cut your wireless bill to 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash death battle. The combatants are set and we've run the data through all possibility. One. One possibility. It's time for Aquaman's funeral! <laughs> Mermaid man! Wait a second, you're not Mermaid Man. The name's Aquaman, evildoer. Evildoer? <laughs> I'm a hero. I saved this city. I win. <laughs> There's only one real hero here, fiend. And he's a super friend. You see, sir, I'm a sea sponge, phylum porifera, and you can't just... <laughs> How about a little karate, Waterman? It's Aqua Man! Of course, he's a sea creature. And as the king of the seas, he's mine to command. I wasn't. 
Just reaching out to you, Sponge. Oh. Let him have it, chums! <laughs> Great Neptune! Get a load of this, Seaman! Damn it, it's up! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Need water powers fading! Is there nothing I could do? A man! I see it now. A multiverse of Aquaman. And out of all of them, I'm the lamest fucking one! I'm a ripoff. A joke. I'm no superhero. People used to say the same kind of things about me. Goofball, wingnut, knucklehead McSpazitron. But every day, I get back up and say two words. I'm ready. May the best hero win. The other side of the universe. Ah! I'll prove it to you. I'll be a, a real, real super hero. hero. Sponge, let's be super. K.O. What is it with ridiculously OP nautical themed cartoon characters on this show, Wiz? This was an incredibly close fight. Gotcha! Obviously Aquaman didn't have a snowball's chance in hell in defeating this little spongy bastard. Where do we even start? With his bubbles and magic pencils, SpongeBob could basically do anything he wanted. There was no way Aquaman wouldn't get totally overwhelmed, especially with his much more limited arsenal. I can't think of a more lopsided matchup than someone whose main attack is throwing water against a sentient sea sponge. Aquaman's only potential option was his telepathy, but as we've covered, it's far less powerful powerful than his comic counterpart. There's no reason to believe SpongeBob wouldn't just ignore Arthur's Bob's Krabby Patties straight up cancel mind control. And really, nothing Aquaman had could overcome Bob's utterly broken regeneration. The little yellow dude has survived being completely disintegrated into dust and even erased from reality. All Aquaman can do is punch kind of hard, and even that's basically useless against Bob's squishy body. Maybe Aquaman could have found a way to dehydrate Spongebob enough to keep him permanently incapacitated, like when he and Patrick were trapped in Shell City. But that would require the fight to take place out of the water, which messes Aquaman up way harder than it does Spongebob. And it also require the fight doesn't instantly end up with Spongebob karate chopping Aquaman at ten shit zillion times the speed of light, splattering his atoms against Saturn. Because, yeah, remember when Spongebob unraveled the universe? Considering the- No, I'm sorry, I need to do this one. This is... this is fucking insane. Compared to Spongebob's size, the string's width is about 192 micrometers. We can use that to find the volume of, say, one meter of string, and compare that to the volume of the entire observable universe. Considering it took Spongebob about five seconds, he would have had to be pulling at 8.2 times 10 to the 78th power times faster than light. <sighs> That's as many times faster than light as there are atoms in the universe. This is the fastest calculable speed feat in our show's history. And it belongs to SpongeBob SquarePants. But do you think he could take on comic book Aquaman? Have you been listening to anything I've been saying? Good point, because let's not forget. Of course I didn't forget. That string feat also destroyed the entire universe. 
And stuff like that is actually consistent. SpongeBob is literally aware of the fourth wall and has rewritten the plot of his own story as he's living it. Screw the pencil or the bubbles, he can just will whatever he wants into existence from his imagination. He's a god. A yellow, spongy god of death. And that's why he beats Goku. At least Arthur finally got to be a real hero. And at the end of the day, that's what matters. Yeah, sure, whatever, pal. He's dead. Too bad for the king of the seas. That sure was one sweet victory. The winner is SpongeBob SquarePants, our god. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned. We'll be jumping into the next matchup next week. But you can always get more Death Battle right now by clicking one of those boxes right over there and by downloading the battle music linked down below.